Hello, I'm Brian Spann. Mead Week is taking a week off this week. Instead, we bring you some highlights from the second quarter of 2012. Until next week, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week. Ultimately, the AWG's goal during these exercises is to evaluate different types of mobility options, but for these soldiers, the motorcycle seemed very popular. You can obviously see from this field um, how breaking contact on foot and breaking contact on a motorcycle, you're going to be able to get, a, get out of there a lot faster on a bike or a quad. Time now to reveal the winner of this year's Mead TV Pacern Military Housing's 2012 NCAA Sweet 16 Challenge. The winner is Kelly Newby, a Pacern resident, who says her husband was amazed. He went out in the first round and he didn't even know I played and then all of a sudden he's like, whoa, wait a minute, you won? We're going to enter you next year for, for real, you know? For this year's Earth Day, the Defense Media Agency, one of three major BRAC facilities to open up in the past year, joined the garrison in opening ceremonies. Earth Day is supposed to be tip typified by things that we call acts of green. Um, and with the consolidation, uh, DMA recognized the importance of limiting our environmental impact and so we took a lot of this stuff into consideration in the design and construction of the building using the LEAD program, which is Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design. She spends all your money. Throw her away. Throw her away. Throw her away. Kamate, kamate, torufa. Kamate, kamate, kaura, kaura. Kamate, kamate, kaura, kaura. Tenete, tangata, huru, huru, nana, vaka, hikitera. Rupane. Upane, 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 hiki tera, kukana. Give our warriors a round of applause. So she sent an email or a telephone call to Fort Meade just at the PAO site. And within a half hour, she had a call from the commanding officer here. And that's kind of when we decided that, you know what, we ought to take Dad and take him back to the first post he went to after leaving Fort Sill. I went in October and had done my basic training at Fort Sill, and then they shipped me from Fort Sill to Fort George G. Meade, and uh, that was when it was making a big push on Africa, I think. Resilience is all about your ability to rebound, to bounce back. You built up physical strength by running for three miles. Now, I realize some of you probably weren't going at your max capacity, but that's where the second dimension comes in, that social dimension. There are people singing jodies, there are people telling jokes, there are people leading formations. So there was more than just the physical dimension of this resilience. Nearly a thousand complimentary tickets were given out to service members and their families. And despite the cheering crowds, we did manage to catch up with one soldier who summed up what the day was all about. I do believe it is important to recognize, you know, the people that, that work so hard in our military and our services. So. for free, so that's cool. <laughs> and I know that's a big part of it being, you know, um, Military Appreciation Day, so I think it's cool that people still, you know, recognize that and that it's important to them because it is important to me because I work very hard for what I do and what I believe in. What makes these, these Star Spangled Banner unique is not really because it's, it's the national anthem, but because for the first time someone, key, inform the American people what that was. No one had ever explained. The ceremonial cake cutting featured the oldest soldier present, 92-year-old Lieutenant Colonel retired Alfred Shehab, the youngest soldier, 18-year-old Specialist Scott Cassidy, who's awaiting training at the Defense Information School. By agreement with the Boys and Girls Clubs, kids enrolled at Child, Youth, and School Services are eligible to participate. Last week, Meade High School senior 17-year-old Jerron McKinnon was named Fort Meade's Youth of the Year. One sexual assault in our Army is one too many. We have failed. We have. So we've got to take this on and get after it. And it's going to happen with you. First concert is the Concert Band and Soldiers Chorus. The second concert, the next Saturday, is the Jazz Ambassadors, America's Big Band. And then the third of those concerts is the Volunteers, which is our pop rock band. And then the fourth and final concert of the series brings everybody back together. Definitely look forward to it because we work with so many great people, but we don't necessarily always get to work together.